The first thing we'll do is we'll import auth from the AWS Amplify library. Next, we'll create some initial state. We'll need to keep up with the username, password, email, phone number, and authentication code for the user that is being signed up. Next, we'll need an on change handler to handle the user's text input. This function will call this.setState setting the event.target.name and the event.target.value. We'll next create a signup and confirm signup class method. Sign up will be async, so we create a try catch block. We'll first destructure the username, password, email, and phone number from the state. We'll then call auth.signup passing in the username and password, as well as an attributes object containing the email and the phone number. If the sign up is successful, will console.log successfully signed up? Confirm sign up will handle the multi factor authentication, so we'll destructure both the username and the authentication code from the state. Here, we'll also set up a try catch block. We'll call auth.confirm sign up, passing in the username and the authentication code. If this is successful, will console.log user successfully signed up? This component will contain two forms, one for signing up and one for confirming the sign up. We'll create a variable called step that we'll use to toggle these two forms. In our render method, we'll check to see if this.state.step is equal to zero, and if it is, we'll show the sign in form. The sign up form will contain four inputs, each with an on change method, a name property, and a style property. We'll also add a placeholder attribute. Finally, we'll create a sign up button that will call this.signup when clicked. To create the confirm signup form, we can just copy and paste the signup form to get started. This form will only need two inputs, one for the username and one for the authentication code. The button for this form will call this.confirm signup. Finally, in signup, we'll call this.setState setting the step to 1 if the signup is successful.
Next, we'll scroll to the bottom of the component and we'll add a styles variable setting the styles for the input components. To test this out, let's run npm start. When we sign up a new user, we should see successfully signed up logged out to the console. We should also see the confirm sign up form appear on our screen. To confirm sign up, use the username you just created as well as the authentication code you received in your email and click confirm sign up. If the sign up is successful, you should see user successfully signed up logged out to the console. To make sure that this user exists, let's jump into the AWS dashboard and go to the Cognito console to look at the new user. In the Cognito dashboard, we'll click on Manage User Pools and then we'll click on the name of the user pool for our app. When we click on Users and Groups, we should now see the new user appear.